good points. Um, and, and as long as we're on the topic of data, um, now's probably a good time to throw out the last question. We'll go around the horn on this one. Uh, let me set it up a little bit. I, I will have to look at my notes because there's some stats in here. So Gartner is predicting that by 2022, 90% of corporate strategies will explicitly mention information as a critical enterprise asset and analytics as an essential competency. And we've got IDC predicting that by 2022, 45% of software companies will deploy commercial usage analytics solutions. Um, and our own modernization monitor, um, the second report that we put out a month or so ago, revealed that uh, software suppliers show an ongoing interest in collecting and understanding usage data with 60% of respondents uh, collecting usage data today and more than 75% planning to do so in the next two years. So uh, we'll go around the, the horn, Vic, we'll start with you. If you had to choose one area to drill into in 2021, um, and you do have to choose one area since, since I've got the microphone, um, which area do you think would yield the greatest return? Yeah, I would have to say, you know, um, and again, everything's dependent on the market and the application, but usage analytics, whether you're gathering this yourself or you're just stepping into it, um, having a level of data on how the products are actually used have so, can be shared amongst multiple profiles. It's not just the product management. It can be a, a, a DevOps. It can also be marketing and sales, um, but just stepping forward to build it in a way that the data is accessible uh, versus building it in a way where you have to rely upon IT or someone to write SQL queries or it's hidden in your network, looking at ways to expose that information and visualize it and then sharing it amongst your product group. Uh, I would have to start there um, with, uh, you know, as a priority if, you, if, you, if we had to choose. Great, and, and you do have to choose. Uh, so Josh, we'll come to you next. And, and in case Vic took any of your answers, I'll, I'll give you a little bit of an out. If you wanted to break it up into sort of a short-term one and a long-term one, that would be interesting to hear too, but whatever you'd like to share. Yeah, I mean, the in the domain of monetization strategy, pricing, go-to-market, you know, these elements, having done this for almost 20 years, it started out as more studies of um, psychology and the art of pricing and things like that. Um, over time, I think the, the science of pricing and monetization um, has, has come to the forefront. And we just have access to a lot more data now than we used to. Um, so we, we tend to say there's there's kind of attach rate data and kind of transactional data that's the core foundation that you know was was informing a lot of decisions let's say five to ten years ago and usage data has become kind of the forefront where that separates the the higher performing companies from those who are not looking at it so I, I think the the time is now that that is a short term objective in many of the companies I'm I'm working with uh, to wrap their arms around better usage data, um, and long term <laughs> it's a it's a good question but I think long term uh, it's applying those not just to um, just to sales uh, elements of how do you land an initial sale and cross sell and upsell but the the longer term target is how to use that data to optimize your retention strategies. Um, so in a subscription model, you know, how do we inform things like price increase strategy or even resourcing we're, we're throwing at an account based on their underlying usage? I, I think that's kind of the next frontier of how usage data will be applied. Thanks. And Eric, how about you? Any, any thoughts on where you would begin first? So I, I don't want it to sound like an echo chamber, but uh, I agree with uh, Josh and Vic. Um, the the usage data and the collection touches on so many areas of then figuring out what the next steps need to be. Your usage data is going to give you information about um, how to price the product. Your usage data is going to give you information about what um, parts of what what functionalities in the product your customer base find the most valuable. And your usage data is also going to give you insight onto some of these um, piracy and unauthorized usage um, scenarios, which will then guide how you set policies 
around your licensing and uh, affect the implementation of the technology. So when we're doing uh, an, a deployment of the technology, of the Revenera technology, one of the, or a couple of the things that we look at, the first is compliance, which is really, you've set rules around how your customers are allowed to use the software. You know, are you selling by seat? Are you selling by user? That sort of thing. And compliance is just measuring, are they doing that or are they doing something that is goes beyond that? The, the perimeter that you've set. Then the next is enforcement. What do you do in response to that? And how do you monetize in a way that allows you to build that customer up versus just trying to cut them off? You know, it's much better to say, hey, they find value in doing this and using this software. Let's encourage them to um, to actually pay for it versus just trying to cut them off. One of the great examples of this is um, there's a popular uh, photo editing program that had a very high price point and had a lot of piracy and then has transitioned to a subscription model and that has a lower entry point. If somebody wants to go edit two pictures, they don't want to fork out hundreds of dollars. But if it's $39 a month or whatever, yeah, maybe they'll pay for a month. 